Good afternoon everyone and welcome to our virtual open house at 262 Poplar Plain. I'm Christian Vermast and I'm here with my business partner Paul Roger. Well welcome everyone, we're thrilled to have you here. We are in South Hill, so just south of Forest Hill Village. It's a great yes. neighbourhood, lovely residential tree-lined streets. Walking distance to Young and St. Clair, walking distance to Forest Hill Village as you said, we're just south of St. Clair. So streetcar is just sort of a few minutes away. I think probably, and you would agree, the best, they should win an award, condo redevelopment of an old building is the old Imperial Oil head office that's been converted into condos. But what they did was the main floor restoration, they restored all the stone floors. They have a, an LCBO in there, there's a Starbucks. Is there still a Starbucks there? I hope so. And there's a Sobeys. It is such an attractive space, and that is a three minute walk from here to get your groceries and whatnot. So, so we are at a house that was built about 10 years ago. The list price here is $3,650,000, and we have 3,400 square feet of finished living space. I want to talk before we go into the living room about the school district. This would be uh, do we get ourselves in trouble when we rate schools? But we hear from clients, top five schools in the entire city is Brown. Now Brown has full day kindergarten. Brown has French, it's a, what they call a dual stream. So they have French immersion and English programs. It's a superb uh, elementary and middle school. So we are literally 100 meters from Brown School and there's a nice playground there too. So let's step in the living room, everyone. We <laughs> have 10 foot ceilings here. This is incredible. I like the quality of construction. You can feel it everywhere from the coffered ceilings and the crown molding. The tent ceilings is glorious. I love that feeling. And this expansiveness, it's, I would call this style transitional. It has traditional elements, but it has some more contemporary features as well. I don't find that transitional sort of renovations and new builds like this have so much longevity. Yes, they're timeless, absolutely timeless. The, the, the quality here is excellent. So you see the hardwood floor is white oak, dark stained. And I like how this space is open. So if you are celebrating Christmas or Passover, you can expand the dining room into the living room space. You can and see 20 people here? Yeah, easily. I'd like to come for dinner here. So to make a good point, this house is actually perfect for people upsizing and for people right-sizing or downsizing. We have three bedrooms on the second floor and every single bedroom, as you will see, has an ensuite bath. That, and that's a rarity, that's nice. And on the second floor too, when we go up, I think what happens with a lot of builders is they try to squeeze that fourth bedroom in and you get compromised spaces throughout the bedrooms. But this builder put a, a second floor, very large, very good size, laundry room. So you have three bedrooms and a laundry room and they're all nicely proportioned. Okay, love the gas fireplace. That is nice. Hopefully we won't need it anymore until Goodness, November. Yes. Should we go through the dining room, through the butler's pantry to the kitchen? Absolutely, where's the butler? The <laughs> butler has the day off. So Paul, I'll meet you in there. Okay, so this is the dining room. Again, coffered ceiling. You see this more contemporary, modern farmhouse, industrial style lighting. The, the sellers here have an extraordinary art collection. So you see there's a lot of wall space to hang art. Before we step into the kitchen to meet Christian, I want to show you the powder room only because every powder room should have a bit of glamour. Every powder room should be dark. Uh, this one really is a great success. Check this out with a beautiful gold foiled leaf pattern wall covering and a French crystal chandelier. Very, very pretty. So powder rooms should be very moody and dark and and this is. So I'm gonna go through the butler's pantry and we'll see Christian in the living room and kitchen. So here we've got a, this is a dream come true to anyone, is sort of the dirty pantry because you can hide all the pots and big items and the things that aren't so pretty sitting on your countertop, big, big, big cauldrons. It's a great pantry. And we're Welcome into the kitchen. Welcome to the kitchen family room. If this is not any cook's dream kitchen, we have top of the line appliances, Sub-Zero fridge, Wolf microwave and stove, six burner Wolf gas top, lots of island space, counter space to bake, to cook, and again, timeless finishes. Well, I gotta tell no you my favorite, joke. I'm not doing a kitchen joke, we're over, we're over the kitchen jokes. 
This dishwasher, we can't show you now, but this Mealy dishwasher is top of the line. What I love about this, and this is my dream dishwasher, is when it's finished, there is a, an arm that pushes the dishwasher out so all the steam can um, evaporate and your dishes can dry. Brilliant technology. Well, if real estate doesn't work out, Paul, <laughs> I can sell you know appliances. you can sell Miele appliances. Yes. So, breakfast nook here. Beautifully architectural details, so slightly rounded to soften the whole space. We have a barbecue area and then a large sitting area in the back with fully wall fenced in. I'm gonna change positions. Don't move, Christian. Look at the background of the Japanese maple behind you. It's so pretty, that color. And it's a like a courtyard back there. There are, I'm gonna use the word ramparts of the an old garage. It looks like we were in Italy. You and I stood out there and we were enjoying the, the nice weather. And it has that rustic brick wall and it has a faux door in it, which is fun. The door doesn't go anywhere, but it looks like it does. It's uh, maybe an Alice in Wonderland. Maybe we should have opened it. Maybe it is Alice in Wonderland and we go down a hole or something. So open concept kitchen with the family room. This is sort of set up as a casual sitting area to watch television, but you could easily have kids do their homework here or use it as a home office. So again, 10 foot ceilings, beautiful natural light. And here they've set it up. The owner has a, a set up here for a home office in this uh, niche, which is a perfect area for it. So you're part of the action. This is the informal part of the home. And the granite here is antique brown. And we have, you'll see the same granite in the upstairs laundry room. And then we have a breakfast bar here. Classic um, raised panel cabinetry. Everything here is in really beautiful condition. Look Listen. at that beautiful uh, marble subway tile backsplash. Again, the home was built in 2009. Excellent quality construction materials and very, very much timeless. The lot here is 26 feet uh, wide. We're in a detached home and 126 feet deep. So a very sizable piece in for, the, for the location we're in. And not so glamorous, but we've got a one and a half car garage. I always thought that was funny. What, who has a half car? No one. Um, so this is a one and a half car garage, meaning you have a full size vehicle and then tons of storage space, whether you put the outdoor furniture or Motorcycle, everyone has stuff. Motorcycle, bicycle, yes. anything. Tucked it to the side. Here we have wainscoting. So there's some ode to traditional architecture. And that's very, that's great for hallways. It's very durable. Again, the handrail is white oak to match the hardwood flooring. And then we have this beautiful space up here with an enormous skylight. So the skylight is in the south position. So you have incredible sunlight all day long. I talked to you about the laundry room and I like to see this. Christian will show you the master bedroom. Let's start here. It's very rare to find a second floor laundry room. So we have the same granite, a folding counter, a drying rack, access to the attic. They're always so unattractive, the hatches. No one wants to have that in their bedroom. So this is perfectly positioned. Full size washer dryer and lots of cupboard space. Very, very handy to have on the second floor. Let's go into the master. Welcome, oh, primary welcome. bedroom, primary bedroom. Welcome to the primary bedroom. West facing, similar feel as the rest of the house which I It's so consistent this house throughout and it's impeccably maintained. So we, behind we, Sam, you don't see that, is a large closet and then we have a walk-in with built-ins. I always find the two closets may be unfair because I'm sure that the husband has the small closet and the wife has the large Then closet. we have a very classy and classic spa-like master primary en suite, sorry with Crema Marfel marble flooring, basket weave mosaic shower, huge jet top, which you don't see right now, come with them, show our clients, and then a vanity with two undermounted sinks. Now we're back in the primary bedroom. This is an oversized king bed because there's a very large headboard. So it just shows you the proportions of this room. And Good point. When we were on the main floor, we talked about that sometimes builders try to squeeze too many things in when they have four bedrooms. This is a great success. You have three lovely proportioned bedrooms and then you have the laundry room. Also in spaces, where do you, frequently there's no space for a dresser and they have a very, this must be six, seven feet long, this dresser. So there's lots of room for a dresser in the primary bedroom. 
So we'll go back into the hallway and show you the two bedrooms at the front of the house. So we have here two linen closets. That's great. Normally there's only one. This house has two. So we're at the front of the house. This is really delightful. So this area here looks, this, you see this frequently in Victorian houses with this elevated, this is called a, uh, a bow window, not a bay window. The difference is a bay window goes all the way to the floor and the floor juts out. A bow window is elevated. So this is a really nice space for the family cat, the family dog, the family kids, everyone just to watch the world go by. And then you'll see at the front of the house, these beautiful leaded glass windows that, are, that were put in. Of course, the windows are thermopane. They are uh, double glazed, but this beautiful detail, which is, speaks to the, the architecture and the thought behind everything. So we'll show you this bathroom and then we'll meet Christian in the third bedroom. So this is a three-piece bathroom and there is a walk-in shower. Again, stone countertop, crema marfil, and crema marfil stone flooring. This bedroom also has a double closet. And talk about consistency. So you've got the cabinetry finished doors and then closet organizers. Let's go into the other bedroom. So here we are in the third bedroom. It's the same size as the bedroom you just uh, visited. Again, with a suite with an uh, ensuite bath. This time a four piece. It's a shower and bathtub combination. We have a larger window. Lots of space here again. Walk-in closet, large dresser, desk, great kids bedroom, great home office. Again, this home, uh, we said it before, it's great for people downsizing from large Forest Hill, Rosedale Homes, Bay York Mill, Bayview York Mill Homes, sorry, Lawrence Park Homes, or people upsizing from anywhere in the city. You're not going to believe the height of this lower level. It's incredible. So it is, feels even taller than the main floor. So three steps up is the garage. So um, here, the garage is huge. So you have an extra wide door, extra wide space. And then to the right, you're going to see all the storage area. So there's tons and tons and tons of area to store your stuff. And then there's more beautiful storage area here as well. So there is below the staircase, again, beautifully finished. Even the baseboard has been finished throughout here. Great place to store luggage. And this is the recreation room. So a huge oversized room. So there's a children's area for homework, another gas fireplace, oversized tile flooring. So that's very, very easy to maintain. Contemporary gas fireplace here with built-ins and a beautiful window that is above grade to let fresh air and natural sunlight come in. Behind us are two things to point out. One is a really nice storage room. So it is fully finished and the tile goes right through and there are built-ins as well. So there's a walk-in closet and built-ins. The previous owners had actually used it as an office. But oh, really? Yes. So, so it's quite Christian, a versatile room. It's much larger than it appears. I want you to do some pull-ups here. Uh-huh. <laughs> So we go back upstairs and Let's finish back off upstairs. our virtual open house at 262 Poplar Plains, uh, listed at 3650 So please go and follow us um, on our Instagram account, on Facebook. Please uh, look at photos on pondchristianassociates.com where we have a 3D Matterport video, floor plans, photos, anything relating to the property that we opened for you today. Thank you very much, everyone. It's an absolute pleasure being in this home and Thank showcasing you. it to you. Bye. Bye-bye.